listen here. Up, up in the way, it's time for a long drive. Blast of my music to the max. First, I'm gonna take the 101 North. Connected to the 110, it grooves on back. Bobbing my head, turning the wheels. Smelling at the chrome dog, filling the grill. Man, I'm loving how I cruise like that. It just hurt me a little. Man, when I get up the flat, uh. Kids are out here from ages of three and four years old, and I'm the oldest guy at 48. And we're out here just having a blast, playing with our kids, having fun. So how long have an event like this been going on? Scooter Cross started off about 15 years ago. 15 years ago? Yeah, I've never heard of it. Some of the biggest names out here are Goped, Boxer. You'll find a lot of different teams out here. So tell me, what are some of the categories? Well, we've got sit-down uh, product, which are carts, and they range in a variety of different sizes. On the stand-up product, you could push them around with no motor, and that's how the kids start. That's how they learn. They push. Ah. Then all of a sudden, they can go to electric, and then they, when they're ready for it, they go to gas. Wow. And a lot of the product out here isn't just running on regular gas. It's running on alcohol, the kind that you put in your motors and makes the motor run cooler and run faster. Wow. Well, you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, we're in Rialto, California, and Rick is the man. He got some people want to advertise. What is that you advertise? What you want to advertise? To be perfectly honest with you, I want to advertise about a dad hanging out with his kids, having a great time. I'm 48 years old. I raise 12 classes a day, and I'm playing with my son, and that's all I want in life. Other than that, I'm just having a blast. Well, we're gonna be, we're gonna get right back to the festivity. Look at this guy right here. They go between 45 and 65 miles per hour. So they race on Saturdays and then they race on Sundays, they combine their points and then that's what they come out with for their final trophy. First, second, third places get the plaques combined for them every race. He's got 65 plaques. You know what, there's no age limit out here. There's a kid racing with them that's eight years old. There's men out here that's 43 years old. We're doing good in school. I'm doing quite good. My last report card was a 3.0 which actually, I brought it up a lot since I've been racing with them. I, that's, I'm, my mom's gonna do this for me, I always gotta get good grades. Good grades, then I do what I gotta do for him to race, without a doubt. He's very competitive, he likes to win, and I like him to win. And racing has bought his grades up tremendously. So that's the motivation, you know, and that's what has helped him to pass the algebra. You know, he builds all his engines, he puts them together. He keeps them going. I don't put Delon stuff in the shop, ever. So that's a self-taught thing, and I think it's going to take him a long way in life. What is your name? Brianna. And how old are you? Twelve. And this is your father? Yes. And what is your name? Rick Villarreal. Well, my son raises go pads also, so he's out there on the track right now. To me, it sort of felt like I would be more comfortable riding something that has four wheels instead of two. So I just wanted to try something new and see what, see what happens. How long have, have you been doing this? Um, a year and a half. Uh, on and off, about a year and a half. On and off, about a year and a half. 
I mean, you have to be competitive against people, but sometimes you just gotta let it loose and just have fun with it. So that's why I wanted to start it because it looked a lot of fun. There's a gold quad. There's a boxer gold quad, so it's a go kart. There's a motard where it's on and off, off, off pavement on dirt. They have that as well. And then the ranges, the classes start from beginners um, all the way up to pros. And how long something like this has been going on? Um, it's been going on since the mid 80s. Wow. Thank <laughs> you.